This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring defense attorney, Hidden Killers daily contributor, and host of the Defense Diaries podcast, Bob Motta. All right. The trial of Karen Reed. And I should note, to preface this as we are recording, we do not have a verdict as of yet. But we did literally just uh, see the jury come back saying, we can't figure this out. The judge said, go have some lunch and do your job. Uh, we'll see if they're able to come to any sort of conclusion. Uh, joining me to discuss the case, we'll take a look back at closing arguments and where we think things are going and at and opinions and all that. Bob Mata, defense attorney, host of the podcast Defense Diaries. Uh, yeah. Are you surprised that we're here at this moment in time? Not even a little bit. No. I, I, you know, going into this thing it, and I keep saying it and I've been tweeting it and I say it on our lives. I'm like, look, if the jury is mimicking us out here in society, which it has to because it is us. Yep. Uh, and if you've got people on the guilty side, we know, and the people on the innocent side, they are dug in. Mm -hmm. And that is not going to be any different in that room. Yeah. And it's just one of those cases where there is no definitive answer as to what really happened to them, which to me just is the definition of reasonable doubt, Yeah, you know, and in, in Massachusetts, you've got that moral certainty. They have the, like the, part of the instructions is moral certainty that they have to know, you know, it's got to be, you know, beyond a moral certainty. It's got to be at that level, which is an incredibly high level. We don't have that instruction mm -hmm. in Illinois. So man, no, it's like people are dug in on this thing. And I, I don't, I, I don't care. Like I don't care how long they're back there. I don't think they're ever going to come to a verdict on this. I don't think we don't any. know what the split is, yeah. Tony. Yeah, like that was one thing. The judge may have known, you know, at that point because she made the decision. It's ultimately her choice, and she decided to send them back. You know, keep yeah. going. But to to you know, for the judge, she'll at some point want to know what the split is. Yeah. I mean, if it's six six, they're never getting a verdict on this thing. They're th never. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's 10 2 11 1 either way mm -hmm. you know they might be able to work through it but yeah man like no i'm not surprised but it's still always crazy to hear it you know there's uh no subway sandwich that they're gonna have over lunch and go hmm creamy jalapeno ranch i think she's guilty <laughs> right. i think she's innocent <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly. gonna be like oh okay this this sandwich magically made me i uh, have an idea on where i want to go with this um, what is the the course here? If if it is a hung jury, uh, what does that work out to in Massachusetts? Is that uh, is it up to the Commonwealth if they want to bring the case again, or uh, is she out? Is it is it done? Just a hung jury, and then she's it, it, the game is over. No. So first, the way that this process will go is she did not give what they call a dynamite charge or in Massachusetts, they call it a two year Rodriguez charge, which is what most people know is an Allen charge, which is where she's saying, you know, I, I, I hear you, you know, but I, I'm going to need you to go back. We need you to come come up with a, a verdict on this thing. She still even if they send another note out because she didn't give that charge now, she didn't give the two E charge. She just sent them back. Um, she still can send them back with the charge. Mm -hmm. Now it'll be the same thing. She'll have both both sides asking. Obviously, the defense is saying, "No, nah, we think they're good," because a mistrial for them it's not a win, but it's kind of a win. Mm -hmm. Because to your point, essentially, what happens is the judge would have to declare a mistrial, um, even though uh, obviously double jeopardy is attached. A mistrial means that that trial does not count. Yeah. So. That means that it done becomes up to the Commonwealth whether or not they want to proceed again, mm -hmm. which is a, a very interesting conversation. Yeah. To be honest with you. You know, I mean, if, if you're the Commonwealth, you know, you, you know what your warts are after the first trial, you, you know what your issues are, you know, do you think that you can fix them to the point where you're going to be able to, to convince 12 people that she's guilty? Maybe they think that, maybe they don't. You know, and the other consideration that that I think that you have to try to realize is, will Karen Reed have enough money to hire Alan Jackson and David Yannetti again? Because, uh, you know, without that type of defense there, and if she has to come back to the real world where 95 or more percent of the defendants in this world cannot afford that type of defense in a case like this, 
and you know you don't have lawyers putting up that kind of a fight you, you know i mean that's like that's going to be a consideration for the commonwealth as well you know like yeah so it'll be interesting uh, it, it, how long does the commonwealth have to decide whether or not to bring the charges again or is it like an infinite thing they can bring it back at any point in time no, she'll give them, uh, she'll, she'll typically set a deadline. It's usually around 30 days. Okay. Yeah, you know, they've got to decide whether or not they're, they're not going to let, uh, but I'm saying that with the proviso, I don't practice in Massachusetts. Yeah. So I'm not a hundred percent familiar with that law, but typically there's a deadline given by the judge, you know, as to whether or not they're going to move forward or they're going to nolly process it and just not prosecute it, you know? So, um, yeah, man, it's it's a thing. Goodness. Sick of the ads? We are too. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.